What's up guys, Sam here, welcome to Tech Today TV. According to Wedbush Securities analyst Dan Ives, the upcoming iPhone 15 series could be significantly more expensive. Dan Ives, who correctly predicted international price increases for the iPhone 14, said that Apple has followed a similar strategy for the iPhone 15. Ives said the company could raise the prices of its new smartphones by an average of $200. According to most analysts, including Forbes, the expected price increases are expected to be higher for the premium iPhone 15 Pro models, potentially reaching up to $200. In other words, the iPhone 15 Pro could be priced at $1,199 instead of $999, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max for $1,299 instead of $1,099. In parallel, the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus models are expected to increase by nearly $200. We are expected to see Dynamic Island and the USB Type-C port a first for an iPhone, for the entire iPhone 15 lineup, along with various performance and camera improvements. The iPhone 15 Pro Max might also have a periscope lens, but this should still be taken with a grain of salt. Additionally, some minor yet noticeable design changes may be included for the iPhone 15 Pro models. Noted Apple observer Ming Kai Kuo, an analyst with TF International Securities, forecasts that the iPhone 15 Pro Max will receive a periscope-style telephoto lens. This sort of telephoto lens allows for higher optical zoom levels, with Kuo forecasting a 6x optical zoom could arrive in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The optical zoom on the iPhone 14 Pro Max is limited to 3x, which lags rivals such as the Samsung Galaxy S22, Ultra's 10x optical zoom. This rumor was recently bolstered by well-known leak source and Twitter user UNKNOWNZ21 who stated that the Pro Max model will come with a special lens. Apple is likely to continue selling four iPhone models with the iPhone 15 lineup. Rumors point to a generally similar design across the board, except that the iPhone 14 Pro's shape-shifting cutout, known as Dynamic Island, is set to make its way across all models. That rumor comes from display analyst Ross Young, who also said in a September tweet that he's not expecting base iPhone 15 models to have a higher refresh rate like Apple's Pro iPhones, because the supply chain can't support it. Yet another cool prediction has been making the rounds, but this time the analyst expects Apple to differentiate further between its base and Pro models in the coming years. One way he's expecting that to happen is by giving the iPhone 15 Pro models solid-state volume and power buttons, instead of the standard keys present on today's devices, he wrote in a tweet in October. The solid-state buttons, which Kuo says will be similar to the home button found on the iPhone SE and iPhone 7, mimic the tactile feel of pressing a button with the help of haptic feedback. The apparent advantage of this type of button is that it also protects against water getting in. Share your thoughts and comments below, I hope you found our content interesting, and if you did, please like and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.